Hello everybody and welcome back to more Hearthstone. We are playing as the hunter. Let's just play. Um, ideal situation, we win at least one of these games. Well, I mean, no, the ideal situation is we win a lot of these games, but... I'm in a weird position if I, uh... If I lose two games in a row. One, because it's very disappointing. It's our first time as a hunter. The other reason would be, well... I need to buy my way back in to not cut the episode super short. We're going against a snail. We'll see how the situation goes. Who knows? Corsairs. Uh, okay. This is actually, a, it's like a fine hand. Let's go with it. I'm not so sure. I don't remember it entirely what the composition of this deck looks like. But one, two, three. One mana, two mana, three mana. Can't go too wrong. This is obviously better if you play it when they have a weapon, but he's a priest. He's not going to have any weapons anyways. So... Wanna blow something up? <laughs> oh. That was the most effective thing that possibly... That could have possibly happened. For him. I mean, two on the minion and then one to me. That is... The best, that is just the best thing that could have happened. Mm. Do it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Now it's gonna be four mana. It's not gonna be as valuable. Also, if he plays it, there's a chance that it could kill this fairy dragon. Which is pretty cute, I'd say. Let's go with one of those. It masters pretty good. I oh, I just realized we something. This imp is oh, okay. is he gonna do it? I would. Um, the imp is the exact same imp from the picture. That's pretty interesting. Uh, this would be a lot better right now if it wasn't just beasts. Let's see. I'm thinking this. There's not a lot. It's yeah. There's just not a lot we can do. Ah, uh, if this could buff up this minion, we'd be in a lot, a much better position. We could do that. Sacrifice deadly shot. We can't do that though. We could do scavenging hyena than this, but that's not really a good decision either. Ah, I I feel bad about that turn. Just, yeah, I just feel. Oh, that was not a <laughs> that was not a good turn. Wanna blow something Mad up? bomber, <laughs> please. Ah, that's an okay. I, I actually I wonder if this can even be targeted by that. S it's spells or hero powers. It's a battle cry, so I guess probably not necessarily. Um. I am thinking this, this, and then this one. Job done. Hopefully, he thinks it's like, I don't know, he probably figures it's the same card. That's what I usually do. Oh no. That is beautiful for him. Ah, oh, that was the perfect card because it does not trigger Freezing Trap at all. That does, however. But then I, I'm keeping on putting that back in his hand and... Well... It's not even really... It's not really a problem for him. He keeps on getting the the best possible battle cry out of it. I, the battle cry should be able to target this, I believe. Because it's not a spell or a hero power. And it's not a target thing. It's a random... I mean, but maybe there's something in it where it doesn't hit it, but I wouldn't be able to tell you why. What do you got here? Do you have... Holy smite. This guy has the perfect cards in his hands for everything I have going on. Mm, this would be bad. <laughs> It'd be bad right now. 
Ideal situation, he plays Mad Bomber. All three of them go to this. Oh, gosh. Something crazy like that would have to happen. The odds of that are so low, though. There's four, or one. Wanna blow something up? One, two, three. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. That's uh, more favorable than... Uh-oh. Is he gonna sacrifice? Dang it! Yeah, he's, he just has all of his bases covered. There's... Nothing. Nothing's looking good. Whew. We would have to pull some sort of magic out of our hands. We'd have to, like, he'd have to play a bunch of tiny creatures. Then we'd need a way to buff this up somehow. I don't even know. Unleash the Hounds might be pretty good next turn unless he heals. Okay, he's healing himself. Okay. Uh, unleash the Hounds is more valuable. This could be special. Because this... That's three cards we draw. This could be pretty... This could be pretty good. Um... Wow, okay. Um... How can we deal with this? I think... One has to go there. And then I feel like sacrificing the other ones for this, but... Should I do that? I don't think so. And the real question is... I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna do the damage this turn, and I'm gonna wait for Snipe when... I have eagle horn longbow, or bow out. Okay, things have swung a little bit back in our favor. What we need now is something to get rid of this fool right here, because these two together are something, something magical. In the light's name. Oh, he should have played that first. That should have been the first thing he did, because it would have get gotten buffed up from that heal. Uh, get behind Ooh. Me. Things are looking grim again. Like there was a there was a glimmer of hope, but now, not so much. If, oh, if I would have put snipe down, no snipe would have killed that. That's not even really. Um, I'm kind of thinking. I wonder. This one. Okay. Um Well played. Well played as if I had any say in it. <laughs> then I think the next thing we do uh gosh. It is pretty much it is good game. Um I need to do some sort of if he can't if he can deal one damage to me and with, like with anything like holy smite. Okay. So that leads me to believe he doesn't have something to deal one damage in his hand. Squire, attend me. But ready, sir. All right, that would kill him. Ah, that's pretty effective, but it doesn't much matter anymore. My seal for Argus. I suppose that's one of the better things that could happen. That, and then we do that. Ooh. The reason I did it that way. Uh oh. Is so that he has to go for this unless he has silence. Okay. Well played. Can't be too upset. It started off terrible, terrible. And we brought it back. Oh, look. Golden tracking. How magical. Um, we brought it back into. 
a pretty reasonable position. Like, oh gosh, I. This may be the worst possible arena run incoming, which is going to be very disappointing. But I think it speaks very well for, or it speaks highly or lowly of how well the deck was made. I don't think it was. It's not the best deck, and it also speaks for how well I play hunters. I do not play hunters, as you can see from the fact that I just unlocked golden hunting or golden tracking. I don't play hunters at all, really. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. But hopefully, 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 we can get one win right here. Hopefully, we can get one win. Is there just not enough card draw? Is there not enough late game? Let the hunt begin. I almost want to keep the sea giant, but probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't. This is a fine way to start, I'd say. Should I throw it out right away? I think so. I'm not sure. Paladins don't have that much removal right away. Unless they have, unless he has like a card that isn't a paladin specific, really. That's a good one. Um. I'll play this. No. He's not going to attack my hero. He's going to attack this if it's there. I might as well put it out on the board, though. Just get it out there. Is he going to sacrifice this? The thing is, like, he may know it's it's that, so... Nope. Alright. If he was going, like, it... There's an interesting thing where he could have sacrificed that if he... I don't know. I'm gonna go for that. Well, let's pop one. I'm always afraid about an acidic swamp who's coming out next turn, destroying all my hopes and dreams. So I always, I, I like to put it down to one durability, so I get some use out of it. This is what I wanted. Boom, boom. Those guys are gone, and I get another stack on this, which is lovely. I wish I had Secret Keeper. That would go interestingly in this deck. Next turn we can play. Oh. Good. I think this is a smart choice. And I don't know, I shouldn't necessarily be doing that, popping it down to one, especially with this one. Because, uh, I don't, I don't know, I, I just really shouldn't. I should be saving it a little bit more for minions, but... Eh. I'm, I'm just really, in my head right now, I just really, really want to get him down low. I just want to win one, so I just keep on playing the rush down. And Farseer is pretty bad, quite honestly, if I do say so. Most, okay, what I'm thinking is Spiteful Smith this turn, those two next turn. I think that's a good choice. And I'm not going to attack with my bow, I don't want it to go away. Because I'm going to have Freezing Trap, which will get procced eventually, because it's whenever a minion attacks, not necessarily a hero, not necessarily a minion attacking a minion. It's going to get procced. It will. It just will. We're like we're sitting in a very nice position right now. We have a lot of board control. If he plays something with Okay. I'd say that's good. But it also does give me that, which is cute. Alright, two, three. Should I play freezing trap and defender of uh. I want to get the full use out of this. I'm going to play this, 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 this. I like that. I could attack him for five 
Or I could wait until he buffs up the other thing. By, or uh, He's not really going to attack with the minion this turn, is he? Maybe I should have just popped it to get the plus two from this. Guaranteed. Because he could play a Consecration and that would make me a sad panda. Reporting for two. Consecration would be perfect for him right here. Let the Thank goodness he does not have another one. Alright, Defender of Argus. Pretty obvious play, I think. It makes it so, um... Hmm. Defender of Argus is going to be an interesting play, actually. Oh. That could be mean. So what is it going to be? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. My seal for Argus! Let's see. I'm gonna go for go for the rush down. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm going all in, hoping for hoping he doesn't have some sort of BS that makes him able to clear the board at this point. I don't know what it would be. He'd need a few guys with taunt. He would need three guys with taunt or. A mass, no, a mass silence and absurd amount of damage. But I am also protected right now by freezing trap. Let me. I really do not see any situations where he can win, which is wonderful. So we the don't have to go. Oh, thank goodness, we don't have to go zero and three. That would be horrendous. Fairy dragon with taunt is pretty dirty too. Woo! We got a gross-looking wood key. We're on our way up to the big leagues. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if we could win this one too, but once again, it, I don't know, maybe? Maybe it'd just be... I wouldn't be too upset if we just went out of... Or not went out of our way. If we just happened to lose this one. If, um... Because I'm going to be in a weird position if I win this one again, where I have one game left as the hunter. Uh, the hunt I like this hand. Except for Tundra Rhino. I don't want that right away. Ideal would be like a one or nah. Um, turn two, probably eagle horn bow. I don't really feel like doing coin and then snipe. I don't think that's worth it. He's not gonna play anything that scary right away. However, this is actually probably a pretty good time for Imp Master. He has no direct damage. He would have to Shadow Word Pain it, which he may do. And in that case, that's some good removal. I can get something else good out, like Starving Buzzard. I would rather have this Shadow Word Pained than Starving Buzzard. What is he going to do? That he's targeting himself. I wonder. Okay, he does not have a lot going for him right now. That is clear. I don't want to set him up for an easy Holy Nova. But then again, that's exactly what Imp Master does. I'm going to save my bow. He could pop a Holy Nova. I don't know. Wait, did he use his coin? No. What is this deck he has? Holy smite. Okay. Okay. Alright, um... I foresee a holy nova. So I'm just going to set myself up. I'm going to protect myself. And definitely going to attack with all these. Yeah, I'm okay with with blowing one of those because this will likely I'll get a snipe out almost for sure pretty soon. 
Freezing Trap is un almost guaranteed as well. Holy Nova. What no Holy Nova. But practically the same because boom. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It just <laughs> it gets the inevitable out of the way faster. Um Let's go one of those, one of those. I hunt alone. Ooh, scavenging a hyena. We have like three of those in our deck, I believe. I'm surprised like we usually only draw like one a turn or one a time. We must Ooh, I love the, the combo of Shatter Sun Cleric and Questing Adventurer. It's very dirty. Speaking of dirty, I'm going to kill it. Um How can we okay. Boom. Alright, this is probably going to sacrifice itself for the Cobra, I would I would think. So Oh, but it is, it is going to be protected from this anyways. So maybe we should plop mm -hmm. down something else, more like a jungle panther, because nothing's gonna die next turn, I'm not too worried. Freezing trap. Boom. Boom. Or at least nothing's going to die from the Shattered Sun Cleric. That is a that is a given. Unless he has no, I can't Nothing's going to die from that. It's everything is protected. He doesn't know that entirely. He doesn't know which one I have. This is annoying, but a lovely thing is... Oh. What is he doing? I... Why'd he silence that? I think he was going to attack it. If so, why did he silence it? You were going... It was going to die anyways. Um... I think we have to defend ourselves here with that. Um... Yeah, I think that's pretty... Okay, now I'm gonna do this. Because I win next turn unless he heals himself, which definitely isn't out of the question. But I am in a very good spot. He needs taunt. He has to have a taunt. Or an absurd amount of damage. Okay. Well... I'm sorry to say, friend, but that wasn't going to go anywhere anyways. You have been. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Alright, what started off as a terrible deck is now even. Okay. Alright, let us go for... Alright, we have... This is probably going to go a little bit over 30 minutes, but that is A-OK, -okay because if we lose this one, that is... I'm... I am okay with that. If we win this one... I'm okay with that. Uh, if we lose this one, it puts us in a really nice position for next episode. We'll start off a whole new deck, a whole new world. If we win this one, we win another game. That, I mean, it's a really a win-win situation Rexa at this point. Versus Jane. You asked Rexa for versus Jane. Begin. I am okay with this. I maybe could have thrown away Snipe. Because it's more useful later. Is he gonna have? Does he have a mana worm already? I hope not. I hate mana worm. I like. I really just want to throw up snipe because I'm I'm predicting a, a mana worm. But if he had a mana worm, he probably would have played it already. Unless he top decked it. Unless he's gonna do like a mana worm mirror image. Nope. The explosive trap is going to definitely come in handy, but I don't need to play it this turn. He can't attack me with these, so he can't proc it. Uh. This is what I'm going for. This charge thing? Eh. That's not the one I wanted. I would have preferred Misha. For sure. 
or the or the other one that gives all all creatures plus one attack that would have been those were my preferable ones but one in three chance to suck is he preparing himself or does he have okay um that was annoying for sure but going to take advantage of the inevitable he's going to kill my pig if he doesn't kill my pig then I have my pig if he does kill my pig then I get a buff I'm putting him in a strange spot mana worm now he could oh if he casts if he has like a frost bolt or something like that really okay Now this is a strange spot, because he's probably not going to attack my hero. I just do not foresee that being the case. Plop down that, defend myself from the worm, and then in that case, explosive trap doesn't need to be there. Do I play snipe? Do I play Snipe, or do I play Steady Shot? I think it's about time we can play Snipe and be okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Play something like a... What you got? Arcane Missiles. Oh my god, this could be perfect for him. And he got... What he... Oh, he got what he wanted out of that, that's for sure. Secrets, what could he have? He could have Mirror Entity. You gonna attack me? No, he's gonna leave it. I, Interesting choice. I mean, you might just want to get it out of the way. It's going to happen. Explosive Trap at this point is silly and a waste. Imp Master might be the I one won. to go to. I am not a morning person. So it wasn't mere entity. And I guess I wouldn't care if it was, because if you got if mere entity takes a copy of this, which would be just a field of imps, I'd play explosive trap. The then we're all good there. This is a snipe, which is cool. We can imp it. Which is beautiful. He can't do anything. I please just do it. There we go. All right. Ooh. Real question is. I don't know. What is the real question? I need a. Do we cover our bases? Do we cover our bases now, or do we cover them later? I think we cover them later. But he could have a... Next turn, he can have a Flame Strike. I'm going to cover my bases now. Alright. And I'm okay with that. There we go. Pop that. I'm okay with the fact that Explosive Trap... Or Freezing Trap was the one that was countered. It was... Yeah. Yeah, you know what, I'm okay with that. I feel like this may help us more later. He may flame strike right now, and if he does, I'm okay with that. I kind of, I'm expecting it. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Hmm. You can't expect it as much when you're not in, uh, constructed play, though. This could definitely be Mirror Entity. Gonna fireball the imp? Okay. I suppose I respect that decision. Here we got explosive trap. That's only if he attacks my hero. Um. I'm very nervous to unload my hands. I don't think I will. Right. 
I'm predicting a mirror entity? Nope. Failure to predict. Alright. <laughs> this is very... Ooh, I'm sure this looks stupid and you're probably just like, play the cards, but... If he has a flame strike, I'm... This is a risky play right here. You know that. This is probably vaporize. Ice barrier. Probably the weakest mage. Um, yeah, it's probably the weakest mage secret. It looks really good. An eight, eight health shield seems perfect. But you know, I'd much rather. I'd rather have the him get an eight, eight shield than um, vaporize, which destroys my minion. Because Vaporize gives you quite a bit of board control. This has nothing to do with board control. He can have... He could have, like, 50... 50 health, and it wouldn't mean that much to me. Two fireballs, once again. It's like, oh no. It, look, it looks really great. Because now of his health situation, but... It really doesn't matter due to the fact that... I have an absurd amount of board control. I'm... I need to cover all my bases. I really think I do. I'm so nervous. Both of these are very susceptible to Flame Strike. I will play one of them. That is what I'll do. That's what I'm gonna do. I wouldn't have room on the board anyways to play both of them. Flame Strike is... would be perfect if he top decked it right now. Blizzard? Just as effective due to the fact that they all have two health. In fact, it's probably a better draw due to the fact that it only costs that much mana. Mana worm. And like I said, I shouldn't have. I should have known. I did know. I shouldn't have put myself in that situation. Yo. Thought that was a pretty good play. This thing kills it no matter what, because it had a, it only had one attack, so it's not going to kill me, but I kill it no matter what. Fireball. I suppose at this point I'd rather have him put it on the minion. Maybe. I don't know. Now, I am the one with the tail between my legs. I think this is a good play. He's going to kill this one. Kill it with this one next turn, or with a fireball next turn. Now he's going to do, uh, or fire blast. I'm sorry. He's gonna fire blast this this turn. Pass me that yep. Banner. Okay. Unless he draws something he prefers. I would fire blast it. Yep. It is very possible for us to lose now, after all of that, because of board control. Well. Now it depends on whether or not he has Polymorph. Sea Giant was probably one of the best cards we could have played, or could have gotten right there. Because we don't have a lot of card draw, so we might as well... This is a Polymorph, I'm going to cry my face off. Almost as bad. Oof, but it, it's not as bad, but it is almost. It is delaying. But... Ugh. We win next turn if he can't clear the board or freeze it again. And by that, I mean only if this is left up. What do we got? What do you got? Frost Nova. You scumbag. What do you have in your hand? Please don't tell me it is a fire blast or fireball. Okay. Ancient Watch are pretty useless right now. Let's throw that out there. Very preferable. Very, very preferable. That card needed to hit. It needed to hit that one. Otherwise, he would have won. Now it depends what he has in his hand, and it is a Pyroblast. Well played. Ooh. What an intense game. It shows how absolutely annoying Mage's board control is with spells. You can shift the game so fast.
But like I said, I'm okay with this. Two and three. I mean, I'm not okay with the, the standings at the end there, but... I'm okay with what it sets us up for. Alright, let's check what we got in the pack and close up the episode. Ooh, we got an Imp Master. We got another rare. Wild Pyromancer. Don't like it. I love Defy's Ringleader. I always wanted it. Perfect. Merry Christmas to me. Thank you, everybody, for watching more Hearthstone. I know this one was a little bit long. Some of you wanted it to be a little bit longer anyway, so... Well, here you go. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for any helpful comments you leave. Thank you, thank you.